Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. Today we're going to do a character guide on Agrius. Yes, Agrius, uh, one of only two Final Fantasy Tactics characters in the game. Um, I cannot believe how underrepresented Final Fantasy Tactics is in Defo. There are so many cool, memorable characters from that game. And Defo kind of needs characters. Like, they're getting to the point where they're kind of using, like, weird NPC characters and putting them into the game. Obviously, there's big standouts. Um, that haven't been put into the game, right? Um, like, you know, Red 13 and, you know, what's her face from Final Fantasy X? I'm just blanking on it right now. But, like, you, you know, all the big ones that people are at. Riku, right? Riku. So there's, like, Riku, Red 13. Um, I think Amaranth still isn't in the game. You know, like, characters like that. But, like, dude, tactics? Like, you could be pulling tech. Like, if they treated tactics like Type 0, like, you could easily have, like, 12 tactics characters in the game. Like, they've got, like, a million Type 0. So... They just love Type-0 and they hate tactics, I guess, right? So anyways, <clears throat> we're here to talk about Agrius, um, who's a pretty cool character. Agrius has always been... Uh, I would say Agrius has had different points in the game where she's actually been top-tier meta, and then other points where she's, you know, kind of just okay. But she's always, like, a very fun, usable character. She does some very unique things that I like. Um, Agrius is kind of like a battery, healing, utility character. She's one of those... Uh, jacks of all trades master of none character she does a lot of stuff and she does it all like fairly well to okay maybe not the best at any of them but she does a lot like you could get away with agrius being like your main heal support character if you wanted to and then bring like two dps or dps in a tank like she can work um agrius i don't think she falls into a main dps she doesn't fall into main support she's kind of like a third slot character so if you were looking to fill a third slot with like a really unique cool character that's kind of what agrius is right so, <clears throat> we're going to start by looking at Agrius's calls here. Um, then we're going to hop in and we will look at the artifacts and spheres and then do the little showcase, right? Um, her calls, not really super relevant. Nothing I've ever used a ton. Uh, the 15 Knight's Pride. Basically, the, the Knight's Pride is probably the better of the two calls, to be honest. Um, it does a Brave Regen, does an HP Regen, and then a Party Heal, right? So, just because it has Party Heal, I think it has relevance there, right? <clears throat> the LD call, um, it just does, like, Brave Damage and Overflow stolen 10%. So, like, it's decent. Like, it's something, right? But probably not, like, with all the other good calls in the game, probably not, like, your first choice for a call, right? So, if you're summoning for Agrius, it's because you're going to want her in the party. Um, and she is a very cool character that way, right? Um, let's go ahead and look at Artifacts. So, for Artifacts, um, you definitely want to go Attack 108 and then Brave Holy Knight Boost 2-star, which is the C50. So it's going to give you attack, max brave, and some more attack. So uh, attack and max brave are good <coughs> on Agris, right? Now, the spheres are where things get a little bit tricky um, with Agris, and there are a lot of ways um, you can kind of go with the spheres here, right? So Agrius gets stuff from a lot. Like, she benefits from actually HP, she benefits from eye brave, and she benefits from max brave. So what happens is, is... Some of her healing scales on her max HP. So if you want to make your healing better, you can try to get HP in some ways. And that could be... You can think of these in terms of artifacts too, right? Um, <clears throat> but she has battery that scales on I Brave, And then she also has Brave Gains that scale on Max Brave. So she's got... She benefits from like every stat. So she's one of the more flexible characters in terms of what you put on her. My recommendation for the A slot... And I don't have one of the recommended ones... Um, I mean, Max Brave is fine, right? That's going to help her Brave gains. Um, so I'm fine with just having her Max Brave on. Uh, but the way you want to go with her, there are some A-Spheres that do um, a Max Brave attack combo and some that do Max Brave, or sorry, Eye Brave attack combo. Now, for me personally, um, if I'm going to go with what I think is best in slot, I think of Agrius more of like a support character. <clears throat> and Max Brave kind of leans more into her personal Brave gains. And I Brave is more the party Brave game. And so I want her to do more for the party. So if it were my choice, if I had a refined sphere or like a slot remover here, I would put an A sphere that is going to do attack and I Brave. Now, there are, I think, six spheres in the game that do attack and I Brave. But there's two that I feel like are like the best ones for her to use that she can trigger. And that would be Machina or Jacked. Uh, Machina is going to trigger um, if you're attacking a broken target. Inject is going to uh, trigger if you crit. So they're both very easy for Agrius to trigger. So I would say if you're going to attack Eyebrave, go Machina or Ject. Now, if you like the attack Max Brave route, 
Sephiroth is probably the best one, or like Yang. Sephiroth and Yang, I think, are the two easy ones to hit for that category on the A slot, right? So those are my recommendations there. The C slot, number one, just put Paladin and Cecil. 100% Paladin and Cecil, um, because Agris has Encouragement Armor, which if you guys haven't been around to hear about how this works, um, Encouragement Armor, the way it scales in the Brave Gains, it kind of like ignores a lot of Brave Gain reductions that enemies can do, and it makes your Brave Gains way stronger than they should be when there is Brave Gain reduction, even a refined one really really helps so my no and and agris part of her kit is brave gaining so uh paladin cecil is like easy best in slot here um if you don't have that then you want to go with like maria or alphanod which are going to be your party attack ups so that's what you go if you don't have paladin cecil on the e slot <coughs> once again <coughs> some choices here but something you do get out of e slot is there are some max brave up spheres and I think Max Brave is a pretty good one to hit here, which is the other reason on the A slot, I would do the attack I Brave because you can't get I Brave on an E slot, but you can get Max Brave. So this way you're buffing all of her kit. So you're going to get Max Brave on the E slot, get I Brave and attack on the A slot, and then in the C slot, you're going to get the Brave gain help. To me, that's like a nice balanced way to build Agrius, right? So on the E slot, when you're looking at Max Brave ones, I think Quistus is probably the best one. Um, I don't have any Quistus ones, but Eldnarsh and Sarah are fine too. So I've got Sarah here. Um, just when you inflict the debuff, max brave up. So that's kind of my recommendation. So to, so to summarize, and this is a little bit longer on the spheres, just because Agrius has a lot more options. I recommend you go on the A slot, attack an I brave on that, and then C slot, go Pale and Cecil, E slot, um, do like Quistus, Eldnarsh, or Sarah, something like that there, right? And on the A side, if you want me to repeat the I Brave attack, it was mocking or Jacked. Those are the two I recommend there. All right, let's hop into the showcase, <clears throat> which I'm excited to see how Agris is looking here. I'm just going to run a Luna Freya Rem combo here, just to basically give Agris a bunch of turns and we can get through the showcase quickly. Um, we don't have any reason to use a Force Time here. That's not part of Agris's kit at this time. So we'll just jump in and show her. And my phone is under 20%. So we need to get through this showcase. But I want to get the get the video in here. And then I'll take a little break and charge my phone. Um, and do all that fun stuff, right? All right, so we're going to start with Agrius right away. Now, what you're going to get with Agrius is a, a Brave Attack. Her Brave Attack Plus is called Faded Molly. I always open with this. There are only two ways you get Faded Molly. One is the one they give you at the start of turn. The only other way to get it is from LD use. So you need to make sure you use Faded Molly before you use your LD, if anything else. But I like to open with it. So let's go ahead and open with that. <clears throat> okay, and what Faded Molly is going to do is you can see it does a Fat Confuse. And what it is, is that Faded Molly debuff, it has... Oh, you know what? <laughs> I just realized putting Luna Freya in here is... Hold on, I'm going to hop out quick. Um, so I'm in the newest fight. And this new fight does have elemental lockouts, and ice is one of them. And so, Agrius was getting enchanted there for ice, so I don't want to do that. So, let me just rehop in, and I'm just going to grab Garnet. There we go. Let's just do that. Because um, we don't want to have Showcase Agrius doing all ones, right? Like, that would be, like, the worst Showcase ever. So, let's just hop in again. <coughs> I'm glad I caught that early, though, before I was, like, super deep into it. Um, so, yeah. You want to put that Faded Molly on right away, though, because in addition to the Confusion... It does Brave Damage taken up and HP Damage taken up, so it's very good, right? And the thing that's cool about Faded Molly, there are some enemies that specifically resist Confuse, but Faded Molly is a unique buff where Confuse is a part of it, so sometimes when enemies resist Confuse, you can still hit them with Faded Molly, which is very, very good. Um, so let's go ahead and hit the B enemy here with Faded... Yeah, there's actual damage, right? So Faded Molly, like 425k with some Splash, very good, and we got the enemies Confused out. Let's Aquamarine here. Perfect. And then let's go ahead and put, put the BT effect on. Why not? Okay. <clears throat> now, you wouldn't have to open with Faded Molly. You just want to make sure you use it before the LD. I just want to show that right away. Um, some people would recommend you actually start with the 15 because the 15 is a stacking buff. So you might want to start with the 15 and then use Faded Molly. Once again, it depends on where the enemies are and if you need to confuse right away, right? Because sometimes, like, th these particular enemies are very aggressive, right? And so even if you're doing a, a comp where maybe you have a defensive unit, but you maybe need time to set up, you could confuse right away. 
give that unit some time to set up, right? And then go from there. So let's go ahead and swap back into Agrius so we can go a little bit more quickly here. <coughs> so let's then go to Knight's Pride, which is the 15. Okay. So, yep, let's hit that. So you see that Faded Molly went away. Now we only get that back after using LD, right? So let's do Knight's Pride. This would be a really nice battery, by the way. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, Agrius is looking good here. 687, that's solid. Um, so on the 15, it does a party battery scaling on I Brave, and then she Brave gains herself on Max Brave, as I had mentioned earlier, right? And then does an attack with some Splash. Um, and then she heals the party, and it does scale off of her max HP. So once again, if you want to make her healing better, you could bump up her, you know, put an HP 1080 artifact, but I do recommend you do the attack 108 uh, C50. And then she gives herself a Bravery buff. And this is the stacking buff. So at five stacks, um, and it's going to stack every time you use it, right? And I think it gets two stacks per use. <clears throat> so it only takes a couple of turns to uh, get it stacked up. But she gets an attack and max, max brave 80%. Um, she gets 100% debuff evasion, which is very good. So she's going to dodge any debuffs coming her way, which is good. And then a party is going to get max brave up, I brave up, brave regen, and HP regen. So very, very good from that. A lot stacked into that, right? Um, actually... <laughs> yeah, I'll still swap turns. That's fine. Because then Rem will come up after I just kind of keep keep comboing these two off here just to get Agarius' turns through, right? All right, so next we're going to show off Judgment Blade, okay? <clears throat> now, Judgment Blade is a very important attack in her arsenal. I want to see what the damage is looking like here. And ironically enough, she doesn't do ice damage, which Judgment Blade looks like it's actually ice, but it, yeah, it doesn't. She does. She's a non-elemental, right? So Judgment Braid does a party battery and then does that big AoE attack. And then it has a one turn paralyze, but it only has a 25% chance to proc. But if you really... So what's nice about Agrius is kind of like if you're in a safe zone, you can just pop Judgment Blades. You might get a lucky paralyze here or there. Nice. Awesome, right? And she's got the Confuse as well. So part of her role here is just shutting the enemies down. <coughs> um, what I'm going to do actually is I'm just going to let Rem go. And I want the enemies to get a turn to get, like, unconfused. And then I'm going to show you something, a nice little uh, tech here that you can do with Agrius. That's very important. Uh, we'll just go ahead and pop Aquamarine. All right, so the B enemy here is going to get unconfused. Or they're going to, yep, use their confused turn. Okay, so what Agrius can do, her AA is actually very important, okay? So her AA <coughs> is going to give her an attack up and a brave damage up. But the big thing with it... She's got three uses of it. If you use the AA, you want to, you basically want to save this until you want to guarantee paralyze. So what happens is you pop the AA and what it does is it for, for while it is up and actually she's got two turns of it, um, which that's a buff. This used to only be like one turn. Um, she gets guaranteed debuff success. So if she judgment blades here, guaranteed paralyze. Okay. So look at this. You're going to double paralyze, right? Now this is a huge buff to Agrius. Because she literally could pop the AA and get one paralyzed. You can see she has another turn of it up. So she can get back-to-back 100% -back paralyzes. That's a huge buff for her. And so when she's got three turns of it, that's what? Six turns of guaranteed paralyze. That's very good. On top of in between those paralyzes, you can set up Faded Molly and have what? She's got three LD uses plus this. So she's got four Faded Mollies and six paralyzes in her pocket. She's got like 10 turns of like shutting the enemy down so that's what's good about agrius agrius says i don't want the enemy to attack and i want to shut you down now the problem is is some enemies will resist paralyzed they could resist um the faded molly debuff like i said not a lot of enemies do because like i said even if they resist confused uh they don't necessarily resist faded molly which then can still confuse so <coughs> very very solid right okay so we've got the ex up so let's show that hallowed bolt um, what's very good about Halo Bolt, Halo Bolt, is this also shuts down. Well, all right, 10%. We'll get there, guys. We're going to finish this video in the last 10%. Um, this puts a unique silence on. So watch what happens here. Now, these guys, of course, aren't going to use magic attacks, are they? No. Um, but silence for one turn, any magic attacks, just shuts their turn down. So if you're fighting a magic enemy, that's yet another way. So between Faded Molly, Paralyze, and the EX silences... That's like a ton of turns of just shutting enemies down if you're facing a magic enemy, right? Let's swap back into Agrius again. Now on the EX, she also got Bravery and Holy Sword. So 
Uh, Bravery, that's that same one, that stacking buff from Knight's Pride, so that'll just add stacks to that. And then Holy Sword is an attack and bra I Brave up, and then Overflow up, and then Party Attack up, right? Now, Agris as Hallowed Bolt is very powerful, right? <coughs> so here, and here's the other thing, you get a free skill use. So if you do debuff, uh, if you use the AA on the free skill use, now you've got even more paralyzes. So in a way, you almost have infinite paralyzes because of that free skill use there, right? So very, very good. Uh, and of course, the enemies now are wanting to jump cut turns. Oh, and we're actually taking damage. Okay. Okay. Enemies getting serious now. We're actually taking some damage, but we got a lot of healing um, on our side as well, right? So while I can... Um, Let's go ahead. So I have the AA up right now, so I could free paralyze, but I just want to like get another attack out of the way here. So let's go ahead and do the LD. So the LD is where she gets her overhead. So the overhead gives her attack up, brave damage up, and then party brave damage and brave gains up, and then HP and overflow stolen up. So just very, very good buffs coming from that overhead, right? Um, and then once again, the big thing that we're getting from the LD is now she gets uh, uh, faded Molly back, right? So now we can reconfuse if we need to. So let's go ahead and get that off one more time. If we can, I don't know. The enemies are going to keep jump cutting turns. We actually could die here um, because we don't have as defensive of a team and we don't have off turn. It's like, oh yeah, we got the miss there. Nice. Okay. Sweet. All right. Here's what I'm going to do because these enemies are at the point where they're just going to jump cut turns all the time. I'm just going to pop a summon quick so they'll stop interrupting me. <clears throat> okay, and then we're going to have Faded Molly again, right? So we'll just go ahead. Sure, let's do an EX here. That actually will heal us a little bit too, right? Yeah, okay. Perfect. All right. Oh, and see my summon now is crimping our damage because it's Earth and that's one of the lockouts. That's fine, whatever. Um. So yeah, now you see we got Faded Molly back. So now they're going to be confused again, right? So anyways, guys, there you go. That's Agris. Agrius is a battery healing and kind of shut down character. Very cool third slot utility character. Not a must pull, but if you invest in her, definitely can make some use out of her. So anyways, let me know what you all think of Agrius. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you all on the next one.